Now in this question, we're given the equations then of two lines, L1 and L2. And we're also told that the lines L1 and L2 intersect at a point C, and we've got to find the coordinates then of C. So to do something like this, I generally draw a sketch, something like this. You don't have to do a sketch, but uh, quite often for vector questions, it is useful. And later on in this question anyway, there's going to be parts that I feel that a sketch is going to be useful for. So there you go, our sketch of our lines L1 and L2 meeting at a point C. And I've got the position vectors in general of any point on L1 and L2 given by R. All right. So if we're to try and find this point C, then we're looking for a value of lambda and a value of mu, which makes both these values of R exactly the same. And that will be when it is at the point C. So that is our starting point. We can say that at the point of intersection, we'll just put at point of intersection, we've essentially got that each vector equals one another. So if I was to expand these two vectors and add them together, I've got 2 plus 1 lambda, or 2 plus lambda. And then for the j component, 3 plus 2 lambda. And for the k component, minus 4 plus lambda, minus 4 plus lambda. Then this vector must be equal to the same thing when I do it for the vector for any point on line L2. We've got 0 plus 5 times mu, which is 5 mu, and then 9 plus 0, so that's simply 9, and then minus 3 plus 2 mu is that k vector. Now, this is very simple because unlike many other questions where you've got to see if lines intersect. We're actually told that the lines intersect at this point C. So all I need to do is just find the easiest equation out of these three by comparing i's, j and k components. And it's got to be the j component here because we've just got one unknown, lambda. So I can say that if I equate or compare the j component, then the equation that I get is going to be 3 plus 2 lambda equals 9. And from that, if I take 3 from both sides, I get that 2 lambda equals 6. And if I divide both sides by 2, lambda equals 3. So now I have my value for lambda, and I can substitute it into the equation for line L1, and then I can work out what R is, and then get the coordinates of C. So if I substitute, let's just say sub lambda equals 3 into equation L1, then what I get is R equals 2, 3, minus 4, that initial vector, plus lambda, lambda being 3, multiplied by 1, 2, 1. And if we work this out, you end up with this equaling the vector 5, 9, minus 1. And we've got to be careful here because it did say find the coordinates of C. So therefore, the coordinates of C must be equal to 5, 9, and then minus 1. All right?